Hey guys, I'm Mac, and um, I'm playing a bit of WoW Classic today. Now, uh, I'm doing the Mage AoE grinding to level, and that's a bit of a new experience for me. I didn't play any of the, the Legacy servers or whatever, or the uh, the 10 years of Classic some people had. Uh, I don't have a lot of background as a Mage. I used to main a Rogue, and uh, I still probably will main a Rogue in uh, Burning Crusade. But right now, mages are kind of popular. This is how we make a lot of money, is you get a mage up, you grind your gold that way, sell runs, help people boost, etc. Um, so I figured I'd work on my mage, but this AoE grind has been rough, particularly the murlocs. Uh, now I'm right here in the village, uh, just south of the island, where most people do the mage rotation. Uh, it's about 3.30 in the morning, so we're not too crazy busy. Um, but uh, sometimes you will have competition from both Horde and Alliance uh, mages here and here. Um, I find the village to be the easiest place to start. If you're struggling with the island, you, you want to do the AoE grind. You saw the videos where you know guys like Joker come down here and they make it look super easy. Mm, this is not going to be one of those videos. But this is a breakdown of how to make your, your grind continue. Um, I'm not so much worried about getting maximum XP per hour and getting every single Murloc in 10 miles in the first pull and making it work. I just want to be able to continue going and going and going without having to stop to reset every 5 seconds, without having to run back from the graveyard every other pull. I just want to keep it going in a cycle. And um, the way I found that works best is to take out the guys that are in the way. These guys are just in a bad place and mark your patrols or take the patrols out um, preferably take the patrols out um, because those are what's going to cause most of our wipes the guy like square here moving around uh, down at the island there's a couple guys that are really problematic with their patrols we're going to want to get those guys removed but uh, we're going to start by just burning these guys real quick i'm going to go ahead and face tank them i'm not trying to do anything special i'm not trying to have uh you know the best run anyone has ever had you got a couple here not a problem How you guys doing? You guys good? So I'm not trying to set any records for the best run anyone's ever had. I'm not trying to get to uh, 60 without taking any damage. I'm just trying to get the Murlocs to go away and get XP put on that little purple bar on the bottom. So we did get rid of one of the patrols. We got rid of uh, one of the guys that's in the way. We're just going to clean up a little bit more here. There's this guy who can be problematic. He's not uh, the craziest, worst of the bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mana is low. My HP is low, too. And I am hitting kind of hard. I've got some okay gear, and I've got a few levels on these guys, so that helps. I want this guy dead, and I want this guy dead, too. Uh, now I'm being a little stingy. I'm, uh, I'm killing more people than maybe somebody would. Normally, this guy, this guy, this first guy, and this guy over here are the only ones I want. But that pat that was coming through um, grabbed off of this guy and also brought a friend. So we're going to eliminate, uh, what does that work out to? Three, four, five, six total guys before we do the village. Not the end of the world. Uh, we're still going to get a fairly big pull off of the village. And then we're going to go down to the island, and that's where we're going to try to put in most of our work. On you little puddle jumper. Wandy, wandy, wandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, killing these little uh, one at a time guys, something weird happens. You'll notice you get a number pops up with XP. Uh, when you do an AoE pull, you kill, you know, a bunch of guys, you get a bunch of XP. But when you kill one guy, his XP still ends up down here on the bar. A lot of people don't know that, a lot of people get confused by it, but I just want to point that out, that um, killing this guy gets me gets XP going to the bar and is better than screwing up this pole and running back from the graveyard. When you're down here, if not you, then you'll see plenty of other mages running back from the graveyard. So we're going to drink just a little bit more. I uh, can't wait to hit level 40 so we can get the good water. A lot of people are excited about their mounts at 40, I just want the good water. 
I'm hoping I can get him in this pull. We'll see. Looks like I might miss him. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Um, I'm more preoccupied with getting the pull right than uh, anything like that. So we're going to come right on the back end of this guy. We're going to pop our uh, arcane. I'll pop a second one here. We're going to wait. Frost Nova. Blink forward. Now you want to time your blink kind of perfectly. Because if you try to blink before this uh, little campfire altar thing, what will happen is you'll get stuck on it. And I've died more times there than I would care to admit. So, we'll low on mana, no big deal. Use a gem. Kill them extra dead. So we got all of our mana, we got, er, sorry, not all our mana, we got all of our uh, kills in. We got a nice little clean kill on that village. It could have been cleaner, maybe. We could have ice blocked, I suppose. But I want to save my ice block for the next big pull, and I'm hoping to be there in less than five minutes. Because I would like this whole rotation to take about 15 total. So down here, the uh, big problems are, one, this guy, public enemy number one. And then there's a couple of uh, sprinting patrols, which are problematic. One comes across the ridges here in a circle and seems to go down in the water. And another uh, runs down the coastline here and then comes up on the beach and sprints on by. Um, this guy is super good at causing a, a quick kill and ruining your run. This guy is super good at uh, ruining all your fun. And this guy, uh, he will respawn at a very fast rate. So before we start our pull, he's the last guy we're going to want to kill in that group. So we'll get some mana going. And we'll replace our uh, gem. Because again, the clock starts as soon as we kill that guy. We're going to mark him because he's uh, one of the more obnoxious guys walking in circles. We'll give him a star. There's our feller. So this guy, you can pick him up right over here on top of this rock. Just fire blast him when he comes over. Mm, yeah, about there. We got him. He'll come on down alone. No big deal. We can face tank him. It doesn't matter. He's not that tough. He's just frustrating. And we're going to do this all in one little video so you can kind of see what the rotation looks like, what I've been going through, um, and there's no questions of, oh, what happened in between takes. Nah, this is just it. We'll do one big, one big run. So I would like to kill this guy that's going to come up at some point soon before anything else. We've got one of the patrols marked. There is a second one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be this guy or not because they um, are not on the same path. There's this guy. We're, I was honestly hoping he'd come while I was standing there. It's part of the reason I wasn't up on the hill over here eating. A lot of mages just sit up here and eat uh, and drink. I want to stand here and get this guy because he's a pain in the ass. Oh, get wrecked. Run around with one HP. Okay, so there's him. Uh, you're the other pat, aren't you? I think you're the guy. So we're going to go ahead and throw a little square action on him. Are you the guy? I'm not positive he's the guy. Oh, well. Try to keep track of the guys I'm wandering between. What I want to do is split this island in half. So I want to kill him and him. And when I, when I kill him, it's going to start my respawn timer. So I want to get this guy down, get these guys down, and make it nice and clean in a quick rotation. Are you not entertained? I'm entertained. Come on, guy. And I'm fine with pulling him earlier. I just want him to definitely be involved in a uh, cohesive pull. This guy is going to come with us. Um... He's just going to get picked up, hopefully, during the ice block. Otherwise, he can screw things up pretty well, too. Okay, clock started. Where did this guy...
This guy should stop right here in front of us. Yeah, see where he stops? It's kind of important to note that, because if you move... If you are ever way too far over here, you'll get him and it'll cause a lot of problems for you. You can get him early if you want. Not the end of the world either way. I would like to get up on the hill here, though. Get my drinking in before this guy gets too far out of the rotation. I want him to be part of this pull. But I'm not going to cry if he's not. Especially if this guy's going to aggro. See, never mind. We'll kill this guy. Um, Star may still end up being part of this pull. But it's not, again, the end of the world if he doesn't end up being directly involved. What is important is that we get this first pull done, uh, and everybody wiped up before Skull here respawns. He is the uh, the most critical part of this whole rotation. Yeah, so we'll um, just pick up Skull, or sorry, pick up Star as we come back down around. I'm gonna wait until he gets about here, and I'm gonna run down this way, grab these guys, and he should come up along this path with me as I run in. There you are, buddy. Alright, so we're going to pop a uh, couple quick uh, arcane explosions here. Get everybody extra mad at me. Ice block here. Um, Triangle should, or should get involved. If he doesn't, I'm not going to cry. It's not the end of my world if he doesn't. You gotta be real careful you don't put your uh, blizzard up on top of this tree. I've had that problem a few times. So just kind of have it ready to go before it's time. Gem. More. If you uh, have to use your gems, have to use your potions, whatever, just kind of be conscious of them. Are you gonna die or what? Thank you. Alright, so we got the entire left side, or entirely enough. There might be a guy on the back side of the island. Not too worried. As long as we get our looting here done before the respawn happens. And the respawn will be kind of quick. If you have to wipe it up for whatever reason, uh, you have a problem, go ahead and uh, just knock that out quick. So we're going to go ahead and um, make a new gem first, because, you know, we might need it. We're going to sit and drink. This guy apparently decided to respawn from somewhere and come be part of the party. That's fine. Now remember, this guy is the real concern, and he'll be popping up at some point soon. And I am totally okay with face tanking this. There's nothing he's going to do that's going to concern me too overly much. Compared to... Having a problem with that guy. So we've uh, we got a little while. We're going to go ahead and uh, pop our evocate. Our gem will be on cooldown about the time the pool's ready for it. And we'll go ahead and bandage too. Now we're not going to need our ice block for this pull. Um, you could save your ice block for it. It wouldn't be the end of the world. But I'm not going to need it for this. I'm just going to pop through these guys real quick. It's been a neat little circle. I would have really preferred it if uh, this guy came over and was part of the Cool Kids Club. He wasn't, but that's fine. We did lose more mana than we would have liked to that. We should still be plenty fine. I'm going to go ahead and pop a health potion here. I'm going to sheep this guy. Yeah, you hear you sheep jerk. In a perfect world, we had an arcane explosion. There 
Hey, we got a ding. That was well timed, right? On that guy out. So I can't promise you're gonna ding there. Uh, if you do, it's kind of cool. Congratulations. But we had our mana gems, so we should have been pretty okay here. This is the guy we sheeped earlier. We can sheep him again. Go ahead and you know pretend I'm healing up. Get your loots. Finish him off, and you'll see that our doorman has already respawned. That was the guy we were worried about earlier. Go ahead and finish off this uh, Coast Runner Jerk. Coast Runner Jerk. And the way to get by this guy, is you can either kill him again, it's no big deal. He's now part of the rotation. We're just going to drop down this way, run right back up. And we should have... Our village here. This whole rotation takes, um, you know, somewhere in the 15, 16 minute rotation. You can get four of these an hour. Uh, I'm getting two and a half, three bars per rotation, so figure uh, you're somewhere in the realm of 10, 12 bars an hour. Uh, just keep doing this rotation. Drink is necessary, buff is necessary. I hope this works out for you. I uh, <laughs> hope you guys have uh, as few problems as I had there or you handle them well. Um, more importantly, I hope uh, everything's going well for you. hope you're enjoying whatever game you're playing, and uh, hope to get you around next time. See you later, guys. Bye.